Hi Aaron, Julia here, recording this on September 18th, 2022, and uh, yeah, whatever you want to call this reality, illusory, holographic, simulated, to me it's very empowering to know that it's not a material, mechanical world like we're led to believe. You know, we are truly the signal that comes through and broadcast via these bodies, these avatars. And, uh, yeah, that's super empowering to me because I spent a large portion of my existence in this realm thinking it, all, it was all just material and this is it, do your best pay bills, wait to die, and uh, that's it. Lights out. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too miserable. So yeah, I like the, this alternative, and there's just too much evidence to support the fact that this reality is not material and mechanical. Near-death experiences, uh, astral projection, even our dreams, you know, in your dreams, you, uh, everything seems really real. And uh, we can all learn to lucid dream and astral project, etc. <clears throat> and someone asked me to uh, talk about my lucid dreaming experience, which was only one. And the way it played out was, I just listen to, I think it was Tom Campbell's advice about, first of all, just having the intention to lucid dream and to remember other dreams in general. Write down dreams when you wake up and remember them. Just write them down right away. And, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I had the intention to do those things. And I remembered a couple of dreams, woke up, wrote them down, and within weeks of doing this, a few weeks, not even a month for sure, I had a lucid dream, and the dream was a recurring dream that I haven't had since, and it was a dream that I'd had I don't know for how long, where I was trapped, I was being held captive by some unknown group, I never saw the people or whoever was keeping me, but I would almost escape many times and I would always get caught right before I would escape. So I was just trapped. I was trapped. And I'm sure I felt trapped in life during those years too. And yeah, the dreams would come up during different stress points in life. And uh, so then after I was doing these lucid dreaming exercises, I uh, had that dream. And in the midst of the dream, I was like, wait, this is a dream. I can take control of it. So I did. And uh, the person that was stalking me, I ended up killing them. And then things got misconstrued. And I kind of looked like the bad person in the end. But then the dream ended there. And I never had the dream again after that. Or if I did, I don't remember it. So, yeah, that's my one experience. And it just goes to show with intention... We do modify future probability. And uh, that's just another argument against this being a material, mechanical world. You know, it's very etheric. It's very holographic. And uh, like I've said many times, even science tells us that atoms are 99.999% empty space. And everything's made of atoms, so therefore everything is mostly empty space so yeah we're the signal we're the spirit here and um, i think nature is the same way the spirit of nature is uh, broadcasting through all the magnificence of nature just like we are broadcasting through our avatars and uh I'm sorry, I just found some apples over here. It's weird because there's no apple tree. <laughs> but, uh, there's one of the apples. 
We have uh, wild boars here, but I think they would have eaten them. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> the, there's something to this reality that's definitely not material. And uh, people like Tom Campbell say that it's a virtual reality, and all realities are virtual. The only thing that's real is consciousness. And that we just keep going through different experiences and different reality streams to learn how to be loved, evolve, and hopefully eventually get into a reality stream where it's all about care and cooperation and compassion. So then you have Jason's take on it from Archaics that says this is a simulated virtual reality. And that it's simulating a real reality. So there really is planets and space and all that out there. So, yeah, those are kind of two of the perspectives on this holographic virtual reality. And we can't really know what's out there. We can't see unless we're there. It's like... Um, the character in a video game can't jump into your living room and we can't necessarily go outside of this holographic realm and see what's making it, what's created it. Even if you can astral project and those types of things, you're still staying within simulated realities according to Tom Campbell because he is very versed in astral projection and um, he's the one who says that we can't go outside of this reality stream or any of them that he happens to go into when he's astral projecting. So yeah, I don't think it takes anything away from nature by being in a holographic reality. Nature is... Uh, magnificent and intricate and we are part of nature we are definitely a big part of nature and uh, a lot of people just don't see they they see how uh, describing this reality as holographic takes away from nature but it doesn't it doesn't take away from us either it gives power to everything because the spirit comes through the immortal personality of the beings come through into the holographic realm that we're in now. So yeah, just wanted to go over that a little bit. Thanks for listening. And I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And uh, remember to stay focused on what you want. And I'll talk to you next time. Ciao, ciao.